All right, guys. So here is the Noble hood scoop from Import Image. You can get it at importimageracing.com. Um, it's a really nice hood scoop. It's not too crazy expensive. It is paint matched, and the paint match is relatively, relatively on point. No complaints. Um, and if there is a fair, uh, shade difference, it's nothing that I really notice. Um, so paint quality is good. Construction quality is good. I did modify mine. I removed the uh, plastic mesh that was in here. In my opinion, I think the plastic mesh made it look cheap. So I took it out. Now I have a deep, dark opening, which gives it a deeper, taller presence when uh, instead of having that screen there. With the screen there, it actually looked a little bit smaller. So once I removed that, it gave it a different presence. Um, I was trying to go for like that OG WRX look and I think this nailed it. Um, so install is relatively simple. Uh, they do send you a gasket to run around the outer edge on the inside, but I didn't use that because I didn't feel like that part was a very good quality of uh, material to use. So what I picked up is I picked up eighth inch by quarter inch neoprene rubber gasket or it's basically eighth inch by quarter inch rubber uh, weather strip neoprene. Um, and I applied it all around the in, inside of the uh, hood scoop before setting it down. And what this does is it takes up that space that people are talking about. Sometimes you'll get like a little bit of a rattle because it didn't fully tighten down. So what this does is it adds an eighth inch to, to the perimeter. So when you tighten up the bolts, it sandwiches all of this stuff a little bit tighter than, than it would um, without it. So, here's the modification. Uh, you can see the the vent is out. It's very clean looking. It's very it's, it's a very simple install. You just remove all the pop clips from the upper shield, and then here's the screws that you're gonna that you're going to undo. And there's I believe two or three back here. Um, they do supply washers, and I believe those washers. I used them back here. Those washers are actually meant to slip between the two panels. So when you tighten it down, it doesn't just crush the panel. Uh, you'll notice that in the hood when you take it apart, you're gonna have a screw that goes through a hole, but it's gonna be a spot where the pieces were just recently pinch welded together. And there's gonna be like a gap. So you're gonna stick those two washers in, those, in that opening and tighten it down. Um, and it's gonna sandwich that bolt. Um, that was the only thing I had trouble figuring out on the install was where those washers went. And once I looked closer, I found that and I just installed the washers there. So whether or not that's correct or not, I don't know, but it seemed to be what worked good for me. Um, second thing, or the last thing about this hood scoop is you are tightening down the hood scoop into um, plastic uh, studs. So I found the best, the best way is to take a screwdriver, tighten it down to, uh, with, with a full hand, and then when you start getting it tight, move back and use three fingers and then keep turning until you can't turn anymore. And then that's just gonna be tight enough. You don't need to torque it down by just using three fingers. You're not applying a full amount of pressure. You're just adding enough to the, create the, the resistance that you need to hold the piece tightly and, and secure. Um, but either way, this is a really good hood scoop. Contact importimageracing.com. I'm not affiliated by them. I'm just uh, promoting a part that I do like. Um, so I'm Subidoo, comment, like, subscribe, and uh, see you in the next one.